Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It is my pleasure to introduce one of our newest Auroras. She will be giving us her icebreaker speech, and I think you will find her to have a very uh, full life and be very interested to hear what she has to say. So without further ado, I'd like to invite Vanji up here to give us her icebreaker speech. Thank you, Bethany, Mr. Toastmasters, and ladies and gentlemen. Hello, my name is Evangeline Harvey, but I like to be called Vanjie. I was contemplating how can I give an exciting icebreaker about myself, and I realized that I am not exciting at all. So I'm just going to give you guys an icebreaker. I was raised in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I am the middle child. I have an older sister named Wakita. Um, I was the baby girl until Richard decided to come along, and trust me, he has been paying for it ever since. <laughs> um, I was born on January the 29th, 1977, and I am 29 years old. So for those of you that are wondering, no, I did not make a mistake. I am 29 years old. Um, I have a magical equation that I use um, with the digits in my birthday, and it's on the board. So Vanjie's age equals one plus open bracket, two time in parentheses, nine plus one in brackets, plus nine minus seven divided by seven. So therefore, until I decide, I am 29 years old. Maybe in five years I'll become 35, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure when my love for math began, but my mother um, loves to tell the story uh, about me around the age of four during my first college years. I used to accompany my mother to college, and she said most of the time she couldn't pay attention to the lectures because she was too busy trying to keep me quiet. One day in her Calculus two class, I kept raising my hand. I must have had a burning question because I would not sit still. Finally, the professor um, entertained my question, and my mother doesn't remember what the exact question was, but the professor says that it was relevant to the course for that day and explained the answer to the class. For the rest of the semester, um, I was allowed to ask questions in class. So I guess in a world had a flash beyond my eyes and I was hooked. I was educated in the Detroit Public School Systems and graduated from Cass Technical High. I attended Michigan State University where I received my Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering. Um, I started working at Consumers Energy over 12 years ago and I was a part of the EDP, which is the Engineering um, employee developed program at the time. The EDP program was in a rotational two-year engineering program and once I graduated from the program I worked as an engineer within the distribution standards and material group where I was responsible for the metropolitan system, um, underground cable, and conduit. Currently I am a senior engineer within the high voltage line design and standards group. My present job responsibilities include engineering and design the high voltage distribution designs for the east side of Michigan and I also provide field support for network services um, for any questions that they might have. I am a member of MAP which is the Minority Advisor Panel at work and our mission is to maximize the positive impact of the diversity throughout um, CMS energy. Also to increase our visibility um, to impact positive employee relationships, enhance the company's commitment to diversity, and lastly but not least, to advise management about diversity concerns and act as a liaison for employees. I also have been a member of the EAP Council, which is the engineering entry program for the last year, and recently I was appointed the EAP chairperson. This program offers a two-year rotational um, position for newly hired engineers. We give them mentors and provide learning experiences that will help them build their network and learn about the company. I am also responsible for the electric intern hiring process, which will be our company's future leaders. I am a member of AVE. AVE is American Association of Blacks in Energy, and our mission is to discuss energy policies, ensure our involvement in governmental energy policy makings and to encourage students to pursue careers within the energy related fields. 
We also provide scholarships for students. Um, within AID, I am the Lewis H. Latimer chairperson, which is one of our main fundraisers. I also am the communications chairperson with basically me, the webmaster. And two other committees I am on is the membership and scholarships committee where we grade the actual scholarships that we get from high school students. Outside of work, I participate on the Scott Community Center Board of Directors. Um, this is an organization, organization dedicated to educating um, our community on social issues. We also have an Inspires program which provides members in our communities with tutoring and mentoring while they're in high school, and we also provide them a four-year all-inclusive scholarship to college. I am a trustee at church where we are responsible for overall upkeep of the building, maintenance, et cetera. In my spare time, I enjoy spending time with my brother, niece, and nephew. Our trips include going to the apple orchard, ice skating, to the beach during the summer. I also enjoy scrapbooking and taking photographs. My family is normally annoyed with me taking so many photographs until they see my scrapbooks. <laughs> then everybody wants one. <laughs> Some people may ask, why do I do all I do? It's because I realize that our children's future depend upon the foundation that we build for them. I am a product of my forefathers. Their struggles, trials, preservation, and hope is the reason why I am able to live the lifestyle that I can. And it is my responsibility to be a role model to prepare the children, to encourage the children, and to have them believe that any dream that they have can become a reality with little hard work. And if I can influence one person's life, then I will have a fruitful life. Thank you.